Hey everyone, I am taking a break from cleaning the garage. Well, pretty much all I've achieved so far is just, you know, tearing the garage apart a little bit and just dumping everything on the floor. A little bit over there, my paper corner right there, that's all trash. Um, yeah, so I have pulled everything apart because I'm organizing it and um, throwing out what is genuine junk. Because all the random crap you just throw into the boxes, it, it adds up. So I'm sorting everything out and getting rid of what I don't genuinely need. So yes, I thought I would take a break and show you guys a few things that I bought today and a box set that I got a couple of days ago that I'm particularly happy about. And uh, yeah, um, you may have noticed my new, where is it? There, my new monitor um, that's been in a couple of videos, but it's been switched off. While that is my plan to have it switched off when I'm not using two monitors, um, the reason why it's not on at the moment is because the graphics card in my PC, um, it only supports one display. So um, yeah, I didn't know that before I bought it. The next thing I'm gonna have to buy is a new GPU that can support two displays. But until then, that's just the monitor sitting there right now. So um, I don't know how long it'll take me to get a decent graphics card. I'm still doing a bit of research, finding out what's going to be sort of future proof um it's going to last me a couple of years so um yeah but uh yeah i decided to do a little bit of cleaning tonight and um i'm going to show you guys some of the stuff that i've picked up so first up i'll show you the three blu-rays that i got from my local pawn shop first is the lion king um this was a great deal uh disney dvds blu-rays everything um they're not cheap on ebay so this was a good deal that I got it 50% um, off again, and as usual, they have these wonderful little stickers that they decide to stick all over them, so that's great. Uh, I got Escape Plan, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone. I've already seen this one, but yeah, I like it anyway. Next one is Men in Black. Um, this one here is, um, that was an $8 one, but for some reason they only charged me $3 for it, so a little more than 50% off for this. And, um, <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, and it's got a slip cover on it too, so inside is the normal DVD. So, uh, yeah. Now, everyone knows how much I love to pay retail. <laughs> um, that's obviously sarcasm. But, um, I went to Big W today and, uh, they had a sale on, and I managed to pick up four 4Ks, uh, for $12.50 each, which is a great deal, I mean... You, you can't get that on eBay. Um, yeah, I bought um, a bunch of Jurassic Park films, um, and you can't get these for less than... I think the cheapest I found it was 13 bucks for one of them, and I, I paid $12.50, and uh, I think that was a great deal. So, um, yeah, and one thing you'll notice is the uh, logo is a different color in all the releases. So there's that one. Then there's number two. Um, I seem to remember, like, people hating on, um, The Lost World. Uh, I don't see a problem with it. I actually really liked it. So, um, yeah. These all have slipcovers on them, by the way. Um, actually, not all of them. Only two of them do. But, um, underneath is just a regular 4K. So, um, yeah. Yeah. I also got, um, number three, Jurassic Park 3. Jurassic World. So these were $12.50 each, and each of them came with the 4K, the Blu-ray, and um, a digital copy, and um, which is great. I already downloaded all the digital copies. Um, they worked out to about 60 bucks worth of codes, because um, each film was 15 bucks. So I was like, wow, that's actually, that's actually a pretty good deal. So um, yeah. Um, and like I said, um, all the logos are different. Uh, the backgrounds are a different color, which I think is pretty cool. Next, I'm going to show you something that I have been looking for for um, a while. Um, like, there's plenty of them on eBay, but they're all, like, really expensive, especially when you factor in shipping. And that is the West Wing Collector's Edition. I mean, look how mad that is. Um, this seal here, um, that's actually, like, a metal. I don't know exactly what it is, like, whether it is a sticker or what, whatever it is, but it feels like metal. It's cold and just feels like metal. But um, yeah, this um, particular box set is the collector set. It comes with um, the pilot script and um, a little bit of a backstory about how the show got, got started. 
and um, it's it's just a really nice copy. So you open it up, and this is like a magnetic latch too. So um, yeah, that's pretty cool. And um, the whole box set is made to look like um, a filing cabinet, kind of, which kind of kind of suits the the TV show. Now, um, the thing with this TV show is that the administration that is um, featured in it is basically um, um, their political views go against a lot of what I believe in, but when it comes to like getting legislation passed and whatnot, I can't help but cheer them on, you know what I mean? They're just such lovable characters and I just, you just get sucked into it and you just, regardless of what your beliefs are, you just hope they succeed. So, um, so every season is numbered at the top there, see so season one up here, and you open it up. And it just looks really nice. So, um, yeah. There's, um, Martin Sheen there. He plays President Bartlett. And then you have... Yeah. That's season one. I, I got an amazing deal on this, too. Like, um... People were asking... I mean, people are asking upwards of $200 for this. And I paid $45, including shipping. So, um... Season 2, and they all have different um, characters in each season. Like this one has Toby Ziegler. Then we have season 3. And this one is Leo McGarry. He's the White House Chief of Staff. Um, he sadly passed away before the TV show ended. Um, I actually shed a tear because by the time I got to that part and I found out, because I didn't know who he was, and um, when you get that far into a TV show, you grow attached to characters. And when I learned that he passed, I, you know, I shed a tear. It was like, okay, there goes one of my favorite characters, you know, in real life, and that really sucked. So, um, yeah, season four, and Josh Lyman, he is really funny. He's like the clown of the TV series. And, um, yeah, such a likeable character. Season 5. CJ, she's another one of those likeable characters. Um, apparently everyone that worked in the TV show, she was one of the favourites. On and, you know, not only was she one of the favourites of fans, but she was also one of the favourites of people that worked on the TV show. Apparently everyone just got along with her and really liked her. Next one is season six. Um, this is Charlie. He plays um, President Bartlett's personal assistant. And season seven, Donna. Um, Donna is Josh Lyman's um, sec personal assistant. I was going to say secretary, but I think assistant's the proper word for it. And now we get to the um, goodies that come in the set. Um, as I said, the first one is this, which is the pilot script. And um, there's a really funny backstory here about how they got Martin Sheen involved in the project. Basically, the producers were calling him up, or whoever, whoever the people were that were sorting out the cast. Um, yeah, they called him up and were just like, hey, uh, you're into it. nice to meet you, blah, blah, blah. And, um, yeah, Martin was basically acting like nobody knew who he was, and they were like, Martin, everybody knows who you are. <laughs> so, um, it's, it's a really cool backstory. And, um, yeah, this here is, uh, basically a little booklet that just goes through each episode, um, lets you know, um, what each episode is about, and it has really cool pictures in it. So, um, yeah. It's a really cool, um, uh, it's a really cool collector's piece, and, yeah, I'm really happy to have secured one for such an awesome price. So, um, yeah, that's the last thing I have to show you is. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the little show until tonight. Well, it's night time for me anyway, but, um, yeah, I am going to be getting back to cleaning all this, sorting it all out. So, um, yeah. Until next time, and next time is when I have something to show you, something hopefully more exciting. Um, yeah, I will see you then. Bye.